Welcome back, everybody, to Conversations with Carol. I'm with a lovely guest of mine, somebody that has been very instrumental for, for my development as, as a person outside the field, and, and I want to present her to you guys. I think she's somebody that, when she speaks, it's, it's very direct and powerful, and, and I'm just thankful to have her in my life. Her name is Beth Weisenberger. She is the creator of Handel Group, and I want to welcome her to Conversations with Carol. So, Beth, how are you doing? Thanks for coming on. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited to be on Conversations with Nolan Carroll. I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm glad. And Thank I, you for having me. No problem. <laughs> I really want to just dive into it. And, you know, when yeah, let's go. I had got released, uh, you were the first person that I was introduced to from my agent who really thought you could guide me through the process of transitioning from a football player into regular civilian life. And, you know, one of the things that you challenged me with was to pursue my dreams. You, you told me to go after them, but I didn't know what that looked like. And you were the one that, that showed me step by step. And, and I really wanna, what I wanna ask you is, why have so many people given up on their dreams and why is it so hard for them to rediscover themselves in a new transition and a new process? It's a great question. You know, first of all, I don't think people even think about dreaming anymore. You know, what do you have? You have New Year's resolutions, right? So when the end of the year comes, businesses are creating their business goals, right? They're not creating their dream. They're creating KPIs, business goals. It's the end of the year. It's New Year's resolutions, right? So if when we start at Inner You with the first module of dreaming, people are like dreaming. Like when was the last time anyone sat down to dream of your entire life? Um, people don't do that anymore. It's not something we teach at schools. It's not something that people are doing in their day-to-day -day life. And it's a big missing. And when we return people to like, dream, what's your dream? It actually messes you up first. And people usually write negatives. Well, I don't want this and I don't want this. Now your son, your seven-year-old son, I promise you if we sat him down and go, what's your dream? That kid will talk, right? He wants to be an NFL player. He wants, right? Like he's got dreams. And then what happens to us as we start to get our dreams, um, some don't happen, right? Your dream got squashed. You, they, they retired you. They didn't ask you, would you like to? That was not your dream. You were gonna play another season, at least another one. So your dream got killed. And that's what happens to people is their dreams don't happen. They get killed. And then I'm like talking to you, all right, what's your dream? And then you don't even know because you weren't dreaming past being a football player. And so people don't have it in our education or in conversations about dreaming, except it is the key. Yeah, yeah that's, that's very true because for me, like you said, one dream was, was gone, it died. And now all of a sudden I'm kind of in the wilderness trying to figure out which way to go. And that was hard. It, it was one of those things where it was also funny at the same time because it got to the point where I would always reach out to you to help me, guide me through the process. And it wasn't one of those where you would hold my hand and be like, oh, here you go. Let me give you a pat on the back. It was like, look, you better get it done or I can't help you. <laughs> and to some people, it, it comes off so direct, but that's who you are. And, and why is it that you're so direct that way? Why is it that you, you get people to go one way and not try and you know, figure it out or pat them on the back? What is, what is the main reason behind it? Well, it's like when a coach, your coach, right? Does you, your NFL coach, oh, I'm sure they were patting you on the back and going, no, then you're doing so great, right? They're a coach. And what a coach does is points in the direction that you should go and be better than you are now. And our job is to have you, my job in life is to have you have your dreams. I'm not gonna go get them for you, but I am going to get you out of the way so you could have what you want. And that's what a lot of our work was, was not even, because we had to figure out what did you want to do, but I had to first get you through the hurt and the devastation of one dream was now over with no choice, right? You also have people who, it is by choice, they fulfilled their dream. But if you fulfill a dream and don't invent the next one, you're in trouble. So we had to get you out of your way. And I'm a coach, so my job is 
you're paying me money. you like, let me hurry up and get you what you want. And so what, I'm going to be mamsy pamsy. I'm not going to be honest. I'm going to like, let you get away with crap. Never. Right. Just like your coach on the football field, just like you're being a coach now with your kids at the school. Right. Or you're going to pat them on the back. Sure. You're going to be great, but you're also going to, you know, get them to be the best they can be. Yeah. And it was, uh, you brought up something that I wanted to ask you another question. Um, sure. It was about getting out of your way. And I've always heard it so many times when I played, but I never understood what that meant. I always look in the mirror and yeah. I always tell myself, hey, I need to get out of my way, get out of my way, but I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> and you have inner you, the, the teaching modules that yes. I have used, and they've been very instrumental when I can't speak to you. And there's something yeah. in there that I, I want to give your insi- get your insight on. It's the inside joke. Yeah. And I want you to explain the inside joke as far as people as it relates to getting out of your own way. Can you explain that for me? Yeah, you know, it's, we, st- you know, our book is called Maybe It's You, which you should then say what your book is called because it's perfect, right? It's, go ahead, say it's, it because it's, it's up too to you. good. It's up to you. I it's got up that to you, idea. right? Yeah, that was we start thing. with the inside joke, right? Called uh, Maybe It's You, right? Like, okay, we're going to have a pity party that the NFL let you go. All right, it's over. Let's now figure it out. It sucks. It's sad. So the getting out of your way is 80% of a human being's thoughts are negative. And then 95% of the 80% that's negative, the stuff that talks to you, you know, the voice in your head, 95% of it is the same crap you thought the day before. Mm -hmm. And so we identify in inner you, actually it's module two, your chicken. So you have a chicken voice, the avoider, and you for sure were dealing, Nolan, with your chicken voice of like, oh my God, am I good enough to do this, that, or the other thing, right? You had your chicken voice. You have your brat which is the defiant one. And when you're as hurt as you were, you know, you were being a brat. You didn't want to exercise. You didn't want to do anything, right? You're just being defiant, like upset, right? And then there's your weather reporter, which is the one who always has excuses. I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to this. It's not, you know, it's COVID. And so we keep using excuses. And so those three voices are the things that get in your way. And so once you identify them, once I had you start dealing with them, we started to get you out of your way so you could come up with a dream. Yeah, it's, it's funny to yeah. hear you review everything that we went through in the last what, four years. And it's just the, the amount of growth that you pushed me to, I, I wouldn't have been yeah. able to do it on my own. And you know, for the people that are out there listening, what is some of the things that they can do to take that first step, build the courage to take it because not everybody is able like that. For me, it was you kicking me in the butt, even though there were days I was just like, man, I'm not doing it. You're like, you have to do it. Not everybody has that (laughs) support system around them. So kind of just what is the message for people that need that kick in the butt to keep going to the next level? Because for me, you know, I was a work in progress. I'm still a work in progress now. Aren't we all? I'm 62 and still a work in progress. There's not a week that goes by where I'm not a jerk about something, right? And my coach nails me and has me grow up about something. I'm not done. Um, I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, the Listen, inner you is your cheapest way to do this, right? So if you go, and it'll be a link in, um, in the whole, in this conversation. Um, inner you is you get a free coaching session. You can join a four session masterclass all for $425 inner you. And it's our entire, everything that I took Nolan through, every module is exactly what I took him through the chicken brat and weather reporter. In fact, Nolan is on inner you with me. I forget which module it is with the taglines because that was his next big evolution, which was while he's building now his dreams, um, there was a point, I don't remember if I saw, I think I was, saw you on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, I think maybe you want to talk to me. And yep, that's yeah, where we yeah. did your tagline. Exactly. I saw you saying something on Instagram and I was like, oh, this doesn't sound good. And I'm like, you want a session? <laughs> yeah, you, you caught me like, but I, I didn't, that's what I'm saying. I didn't realize I was going that way. And some yeah. of the things that you've taught me now in my mindset before I used to just go down in the rabbit hole and I would stay there not even realizing at the end of the day I know. how long I've been there now I'm able to identify okay you, you don't need to be going down here because it's not beneficial to you it's not yeah. doing you any good yeah. so I think that for me like I said just 
being able to go through interview, like you said, it's, it's cheaper than a lot of other things. And it's, it's you guys. You guys are the one teaching. It's not like it, you're sending somebody else somewhere no, to get training. No. It's, it's you guys being yeah. direct. And, and I think it's, been, like I said, even when I can talk to you, sometimes I'll send you a text message, you'll, you'll get me straight. But then I go on interview <laughs> and I still hear you. I hear your sister. So yes. it's, it's, it's really good to, it's refreshing because yeah. I'm still on that, that path of, of being guided. For sure. But I definitely want to. Yeah, and you're up to big things. So when you're up to big things, you want to have a coach. You want to have an accountability buddy. You want to have support because if you're up to a big dream, you don't want to do it on your own. You need support. Like I have a big dream. I thank God I have two coaches. They're my two sisters, right? Um, but thank God, because yeah. I need them because I get in my own way. I yeah. can be a brat. I can yeah. be a chicken. Not a chicken. I'm more brat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I, I, I agree, and you guys are hearing it now. You, Even though Beth is a life coach, she needs other people to help her, and, and that's all about a support system. It's cooperation. Right, exactly. You are establishing that. So, um, for sure, and then I want to answer your question. Wait, let me go back to one thing, Nolan. The, so for those of you, um, whether you do interview or not, the if you want to, if there's an area of your life that really does suck, that's in mediocre ground, all you need, ready? It's really this simple. You need a promise. You need a consequence, which would be if you don't keep the promise, you have to do something really annoying that would annoy the crap out of you. And you need an accountability buddy. And all you need, what will change that area is one to two of the right promises and the right consequence, and you'll get on the right path. So like, for instance, for a year, I was talking about, I should meditate, I should meditate, I should meditate. And my brat was like, nah, nah, nah. And I finally heard it and I'm like, all right, enough already, Beth, enough with being a brat about meditating. It actually works for you. So I've meditated for a year now, five times a week, only because, here's my consequence, people, I don't get my one cup of coffee until I meditate. And for one. one year, I've meditated five days a week or I don't get my coffee and I've never missed my coffee because over my dead body, am I missing my favorite cup in the morning of my coffee, no, right? Not. So if you come up with a promise and a consequence, you need someone to hold you to account because you won't, you'll lie, you'll break the promise. We always break promises to ourselves, not to necessarily our spouses or our children, but you need a promise. And whenever Nolan needs one, he knows I will hold him to account for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, it's funny, that one, the quarters, the quarters was yeah. the one that, I honestly, that's the one that kept me the most accountable even st still now, just understanding my thought process. So for people that don't know, Beth held me accountable for my thoughts. I was always thinking negatively, even though I, there were times I think positive, it, it'd be more negative. And what she proposed to this me was, was- This was, wait, underline. This was right when he right was when done I with the released. NFL. Yeah, like right within the released. first 30 days, if you can imagine being let go of a dream, he was in hell, yeah. right? And so, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Nolan, I just no, wanted to Yeah, that was that. one of the yeah. things that you proposed to me was, Anytime you have a negative thought, you got to throw a quarter out in the backyard or you got to throw a quarter out <laughs> your car. And I was throwing a lot Without of Without hitting anybody or hitting a car, I, that I was probably the hit a neighbor. <laughs> I probably hit a neighbor or two, maybe. But for me, it, it allowed me to capture my thoughts, understand what was going on and be accountable for it because you were going to follow up with me if I didn't do it right or if I, I wasn't following up. Exactly. And that allowed me yeah. to now fight for myself and really the meaning of yeah. going back to the inside joke was getting out of your way. I was able to now remove myself from prohibiting myself to do what I needed to do to get things done. And you know, I, I just, like I said, I, I'm going to say it again. I thank you for really kicking me in the butt. And, and that's what I needed uh, to, to grow and, and do what I am doing now. And I also wanted to ask you, it, you, I, I remember you have a TV show. Now, is this a doctor's TV show or is it your own TV show that you're doing? No, you and I were on The Doctors that's okay, dropping so in doctor. May, so it's everyone will get to see that. You and I did that together, right? No, we're going for um, getting myself and Marnie, my sister Marnie, on this sister coaching show. So, yeah, we we, we want to do this for millions, right? Like, to be able to do this, and we have, you know, I have 70 coaches. We have a very large company. But, you know, we want to impact millions of people. So we're going for a TV show. We'll see. Uh, that's our, That's my dream. I it's like my it. dream. Let's see if I get my dream. I yeah, mean, TV. We have a call. We have a call with a, um, a very big deal uh, this week. 
I'm excited so we'll about see. that. I'm really excited about yes, that. Yes, because I'm <laughs> bringing you on it for sure. That's not even a question. I hope <laughs> Whoever I'm gets the TV people. show first, you will bring each other on. That's bringing, like a this done is, deal. I was like, this even... is a semi-talk show. You're on mine right now. I told yes, you, I've been trying to get you on forever. Right. You didn't went to Costa Rica and <laughs> disappeared on me. I know. I, know. I didn't go to Florida. I went to Costa Rica. No, I say, <laughs> I, I, I'm fine with that. You've done a lot, even even where you are now, and still you check on me and make sure I'm, I'm right. and on straight and narrow so yeah. i definitely appreciate you beth for for coming on and, yeah. and for the past four years of, of what you you have helped me do and and hopefully people that hear this understand what you bring to the table and what you do and and let people know that look they're in charge of their own minds they're in charge of their yeah. own bodies they're in charge of their whole surrounding and and that's what i really wanted to get at with this with this interview and this conversation with you because i think we've had so many conversations in the past and nothing has really been public but now as i'm starting to grow as a person you're elevating with your company and getting into other things people are now realizing that you got a lot of good stuff going on and a lot of good mm. things that help people so i definitely thank you for coming on oh. the show and and gracing me with the information absolutely complete pleasure to you know it was complete ball to coach you and still is and you're so coachable and um and it's a it's just my privilege and ple pleasure that I got to do this for you and watch you with your son and watch your dreams coming true and watch what you're building. It just, you know, each time, you know, I like send you, I'm so proud, I'm so proud, right? Cause I knew you when it was not so bright, like you were in hell, right? So for any of you that really, um, this is for growing and expanding and we all need coaches, right? Like I don't work out at the gym without a coach. Like that would be silly cause I'm a brat. I'd be like, oh, I'm done. Right, so we all need coaches. So inner you is your easiest way to do it and it will make such a profound difference whether you listen to it or listen and do the homework, that'll radically shift you. So I hope you um, get yourselves inner you. And Nolan, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Beth, I appreciate you, thank you. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. My book, it's up to you, it's out now. Go ahead and click the link in the description.